play and call it work. Ah. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to a new Urban Conquest Campaign Battle Report. Yes. There's a dance. My back is hurting a little bit, so I'm not going to dance too hard. This is a new series that I am going to be filling with Constantin over the next couple of weeks. You're going to see it. I, I, it's going to be between 8 to 10 battle reports is what I'm hoping. We've got five filming days scheduled, so yeah. unless there's sickness or just other things mm -hmm. that happen, the goal is to get 10 battle reports done for this, where we're actually going to play through a two-player urban conquest, uh, the, the, the cities of something... Yeah. No, it's, it's called something else. It's called... Really? Is it called Cities of Death? No, it's called the Streets of Death. The Streets of Death. The Streets of Death campaign. And in this, there is a map that actually comes in the box set for Urban Conquest that you can see right here. And in this map, we randomly generate what the city looks like. And then we, we, we'll, we'll show you exactly how we, all, we ended up controlling the city. And then over the course of each game, we're going to be capturing new areas of the city, gaining campaign points, gaining strategy points, which we can spend on stratagems to help our next games, and having all sorts of weird random events. So it's all going to be very close quarter, city fighting, but we're going to be changing up the board to give you a variety of what kind of uh, stuff it is. And this is going to be a Gene Stealer Cult versus Adeptus Mechanicus campaign. Now the cults that we chose, uh, I'm going to be the Cult of Adaptation. And you're the... Uh, Forge World, yeah, let's just call it Forge World Cryptus. Forge World Cryptus. Yeah. In other words, they are MacGuffin cults <laughs> that allow us to change our cult creed and our Forge World yeah. alignment every single game. That way we don't have 10 games of the same cult creed. And so that's, that's what we're doing. Because I want to show off the different stuff, uh, the different the new stuff for the Gene Center cult. So we've got a lot of stuff being painted up. Where even in this battle report right now, you're going to see new models. And uh, I just want to give you that variety in these games. So even though it's going to be Gene Slater Cult versus Admech each time, we're going to be changing up our, our armies a lot over the campaign. So let's go in right now and take a look at the map and see where this is all starting out and talk more about how the campaign is going to work. So the Urban Conquest box set comes with this really cool map system. It reminds me a lot of the Firestorm from Age of Sigmar, except the rules are very, very different. They don't get um, imbalanced in how many points you have. And the, essentially right on this side is the map of the city. And so as you look closer, you can see that they actually have names like Hablock 306, Hablock 40 Alpha, Sector Mechanicus Delta 1. It's really cool kind of flavor-wise. It almost, it's almost like it's a block by block or sector by sector area of the city. And there's different ways that you can set up. We chose the third way, which is that we're more scattered throughout the city. And we each get six locations because it's only two players. And I, we rolled off, I won the roll off, and then we went back and forth choosing locations. With, there's, there's a couple restrictions. One is that you can't choose any of these special locations, so any of the ones that are marked this way. And by the way, this map was randomly generated. There's twice as many cards as you see here. There's actually six special locations. So I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled and then put them all in here. So we've got three special locations, the Prometheum Reactor Complex, the Aegis City Shield Generator, and Sniper's Alley and uh, then the rest of it. So when you place one, you can't place one adjacent and diagonal counts as being adjacent to one that you already have. And so you can see that we're spread out in this, in this configuration. This is the third one. And you're also not allowed to take any special locations, as I said, or ones that your opponent already has. Now the numbers on each of them, the top number is the campaign points that you get for it. In other words, the victory points. And the bottom number is strategy points, which you can use to purchase strategies between games. We don't have any to start. It's after the first game, basically, you get points for every... You get campaign points for whatever you control, and then you get strategy points for whatever you control as well. And that's after, though, we've conquered and seen what, we ha what else we get. And the basis of the, the, that, that phase is based off of who wins the game. You can play any number of games in a round, but we're just going to do one. So we'll have a game, and then we'll do the phase where we do all the conquering and bind of strategies. So the strategic goal, there's a different goal for every type of campaign. In this case, it's regroup and consolidate. And essentially, what you do is you look at your biggest um, territory that's connected, the, the largest number of connected locations in your territory, so the, the largest, the biggest unbroken area of adjacent locations they control, including diagonally. You divide the total by three, and you get that rounded down. 
and you get that many bonus campaign points. So if I connected six of them together, I'd get two bonus campaign points. If I had five, I'd only get one. If I only have two, well, then you get even less. So if I conquered this spot, for example, I'd have four, and that would give me one extra bonus campaign point. So that's an important thing. But you also want to conquer the special locations, because they give you bonuses and the strategy points and everything else. Every round is a random event. And this first one's a really cool smog storm. Basically, we roll 2d6. If you roll less than 7, then we have to use the urban battle zone pollution rules for our game. We both ended up choosing shooting armies for our first game, and pollution is horrible for that. Uh, it halves the range of your weapons. All hard cover counts as soft cover. The buildings are all dangerous, but and if you're out in the open, you get minus one toughness. It's, ugh, it's bad. But we'll roll, and we'll roll to see if we actually get that randomly. And so this is where we're starting, on equal footing, going back and forth, choosing things. And we're going to play our very first game. To choose the mission you play, one is Warlord A and one is Warlord B. And you have to choose one of the five choices of how you're going to do it, assaulting, holding, etc. And then we just compare the two, and that tells you what mission you're going to play. I chose Assault and uh, Constantine chose Advanced, so we're going to be playing Urban Assault, which is on page 92. In Urban Assault and all the match play, the deployment zone is table quarters. So one person will have one quarter and the other person will have the other quarter. In this one, we roll off and the winner places four objectives, one in each quarter, on a building. And then basically, starting in the second battle round, you get victory points for controlling those objectives. You get one for controlling it if it's anywhere but your opponent's. Uh, deployment zone. I should have said that the opposite. You get two if it's in your opponent's deployment zone, otherwise they're worth one. There's also First Strike, Slave of the Warlord, and Line Breaker as usual, so we can get those bonus victory points. And we just play uh, random game length and see who wins. Let's take a look at our armies before we go any further though. This is my 1000 point Gene Stealer Cult army. This is the Cult of the Bladed Cog. The Cult of the Bladed Cog gives all infantry and bikers a 6-up invuln. If they already had an invuln save, it gives them plus 1 to it. I thought this would be fantastic for Gene Stealers, but apparently Gene Stealers don't get cult creeds, which is really kind of depressing. It also allows infantry to move and fire heavy weapons without any penalties to their hit rolls. We've got two detachments, a battalion detachment and a spearhead detachment because we got three heavy support and three HQ. So our three HQs are a Acolyte Icon Ward, a Magus, and a Jackal Alpha. So that's a new model right there. A guy on a bike with a sniper rifle, which is pretty cool. For troop choices, we've got two units of Neophyte Hybrids, each with two mining lasers. So those are heavy weapons, so they can move and fire those without any penalty. Another unit right here. We've also got three units of five Acolyte Hybrids, no upgrades. They'll be riding inside the Goliath Rock Grinders because the Goliath Rock Grinders have heavy stubbers, clearance incinerators, and each has a cache of demolition charges, which is a very strong grenade, but or no, it's an assault weapon in this case, but it can only be used if there is something riding inside of it. So the passengers are basically the ones throwing it. Over on the elite side, we've got a new Sanctus. So this guy can either have a sniper rifle or his bio dagger. The first one I have is the sniper rifle. I am having one made with the dagger as well, because I think that one will actually be better. He's essentially a, an assassin. He's a, I gave him the relic sniper rifle, which gives plus two to wounds, unless you're a vehicle or a titanic. And uh, his weapon is just one shot. Um, it's heavy, though, but he doesn't get any penalties for moving and shooting it, because he's infantry in the Cult of the Bladed Cog. And it's just strength four minus, I think it's minus two, two dam D3 damage, but if you roll a six plus to wound, or a four plus if it's against non-vehicle, non-titanic, it does a mortal wound in addition to that. He also can use the 1-3 command point stratagem for free, which allows him to shoot or move when he first arrives. So we'll see how well he does. In the fast attack department, we got two things. We got the Atalan Jackals, or Adelin Jackals. I'm going to call them Adelin. So this is one squad right here. We got four of the bikes and one quad bike. So they're just, they're just armed with a bunch of auto pistols and improvised weapons, and then the bike has the big flamer. And then we got a ridge runner back here with two heavy stubbers and a heavy mining laser. And so the one thing I want to point out for my the, the jackal guy right here, the HQ, is that he has a rule that in the shooting phase I can choose a unit that I can see within 36 inches, and all friendly cult units within 6 inches of him will get plus 1 to hit them. So kind of combining a couple of things, trying out a shooting list for once, Although definitely with the Goliath Rock Grinders, they do like to get up close and personal with their clearance incinerators, which are basically flamers. 
And on this side, we have Constantine's Ad Mech Army, Adeptus Mechanicus. Walk us through what you decided to go with for today. Okay, so um, for first, uh, so first, um, the Forge World I chose today is uh, Metallica. So this is essentially one of the, the one that allows me to um, run with my units and still shoot assault weapons without penalty and treat rapid fire weapons as assault weapons, essentially. So rather, cool. like rapid fire one becomes assault one, for example. Um, do they so all? Do they have to become assault one? Yeah, they. So they lose whenever, their ability whenever, to shoot whenever twice. Whenever you run, you can. Yeah, whenever you run, your rapid fire weapons become assault one weapons. I see. So they yeah. can still be rapid fire weapons. Yeah, if, if you don't, that. if you don't run, you don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. You wouldn't want to lose right. rapid yeah. fire in general. But in, but in case it, that happens, it, that's very handy. Um, it's like almost like battle focus for um, <laughs> for the admic here. So um, we have actually two battalions in this list. Two battalions. Yeah. So we have our four HQ, starting with the general here. The so one the engine seers are not elite choices; they're HQs. No, and adept mechanic is their HQ choice. Actually. Wow. Okay. They're like the the spamble HQ. Right. Yeah. 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 Thought fill choice. Yeah. So um, this tech priest dominus here is obviously going to be the warlord. Um, he's armed with his eradication ray and a phosphor serpenta. You can see it's back there. Um, his warlord trait is going to be. Um, I just. I chose. Um, I did not chose the Metallica warlord trait for him this time. I chose the uh, Necro mechanic warlord trait, which when I, as any, whenever he repairs something, uh, he repairs another wound, um, and also he has one artifact, which is the Autocad Chaos Park and Land, which lets him re-roll his D3 on repairing stuff. So he's good at repairing, basically. Yeah, he's pretty. He's, 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 he's a top-level mechanic, class he A is. mechanic. Indeed, yeah. Charges a premium for it though. <laughs> yeah. Then next to him is the one engine seer um, for the second HQ slot. Actually, I, I paid one command point uh, for RQ tech specialist to get an extra relic, just to m also to get from the, the unholy 13 command points to a holy 12 command points, in case you didn't know 12 is a holy number for the Adeptus Mechanicus. I understand. It would be, yeah, it would be, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I chose, the, I, I chose the omniscient mask for him. That bite come up. The emission mass is it, it. It makes Skitari eye units within six inches reroll hit rolls in combat. Oh, okay. So that well, I, come there up. there might be some combat. Yeah, there, there might be a, a bit. It's handy. Yeah, and I have some some close combat units like two. So then troops choices for the first battalion. We have three units of five rangers. Um, five men units because um, you don't really. I mean, I in this case I wanted to go for five men units just because. To get the like, double battalion. I, yeah, that, and also because ten men units is kind of risky because of their uh, leadership and all of that. But you, you, it, at, for this list, it's five men. So we have a sniper unit. We have a unit with two transuranic arquebuses on the left. Um, oh, with, sorry, the sniper unit. Yeah, the the transuranic arquebuses there. Um, there's an omni specs in there to ignore cover, which is kind of which will be good in urban in conquest. urban conquest. That's a pretty big deal, or can be. Um, just because it's modeled that way, the, the um, Alpha has um, a, a power sword and a phosphor blast pistol, just because, I mean, why not? Um, then the second unit, um, Alpha has a, um, an arc maul and an um, arc pistol, and the unit has two arc rifles. And then the third unit has, um, Alpha has phosphor blast pistol, um, just because it's modeled that way, and two plasma calibers in there. And there also there's an omni specs in there, too. Um, and we have two heavy support. Um, it's two honor guard crawlers with neutron lasers, and I spent the extra two points for extra cognus heavy stuffers. Why not, right? Yeah, why not? A little extra firepower. Right. And then and our other detachment? Battalion. Yeah, second battalion. So two engine seers are the HQ there, nothing special about them. Three units of vanguard, um, one just bare bones, um, just the radium carbines, the middle one with two plasma calibers, and um, the third one just with two arc rifles. Then um, we have an elite. We have oh. um, no, it's oh, over. It, we, we have a unit of five infiltrators. Um, they're armed with taser goads and flechette blasters. Um, for I mean, everyone loves tes taser uh, or Tesla in close combat. Of course. Um, and five shot pistols. And we have a unit of two dragoons. Just because I have the points, and um, I thought uh, mobile um, lands. Dudes, um, who can maybe like, I mean, they they can do a lot of damage potentially, but we'll see. Um, so well, yeah, yeah, it's a thousand points, right? So it limits to right what yeah. you can decide to bring. You have to focus yourself down, but being able to bring the double battalion means that you're gonna yeah. start with the. Hold on, you said I'm yeah, thirteen. I'm at twelve. I'm at twelve. You started with thirteen because each battalion gives yeah, you five, exactly. plus the three, so now you're down to twelve. Whereas I'm gonna be at nine to start. Okay, yeah. 
Because I mean, they're. Let's see if there's any pollution. Yeah. I don't think either of us want this. No, not really. So I gotta roll less than seven. Don't. Oh, there's pollution! Oh no! <laughs> Okay. I mean, at least it's bad for both. But yeah, at least I'm not like, if I had brought like a close combat army and you had brought a shooting army, then it'd be like, okay, <laughs> all right. So the pollution urban battle zone has a few rules. Acid rain first off, minus one toughness, so anything that's not a monster or vehicle that is not in entirely, so it's the models, not unit, any models that are not on a ruin or sector mechanic structure, unless they're a monster or vehicle, um, that does not have the open topped ability. So my Goliath rock grinders, thankfully, are not open top. I'm gonna double check that. If they were Goliath trucks, they would get minus one toughness because they're open top. There's also smog. Everything counts as being obscured unless it's flyer. So obscured in this is minus one to shoot. <laughs> awesome. In addition, the maximum range of rapid fire assault and heavy weapons is halved. Now you can spend a command point to go at full range, but you have to only hit on sixes. Yeah. Just Mind firing. unmodified sixes. I don't know if I'd ever want to use that. And crumbling city. All ruins and structures, we're going to say anytime it says sector mechanic structures, it means any building, yeah, yeah. are dangerous terrain. And hard cover becomes soft cover unless we reinforce it. Dangerous terrain in urban conquest is simple. If you advance or charge for, uh, on a building, into a building, from a building, or from a ruin, or whatever, whatever is the dangerous terrain, for every model that does that, you roll a die. On a one, the unit takes a mortal wound. Just yeah. like that. So the buildings provide less cover. But if you're not in them, you get minus one toughness. And also they're dangerous terrain because they're crumbling. Which, so you know, it turns out the, the table that we set up is quite fitting for what we are about to do because it all is very crumbly. Yeah. By the way, this table mat is brought to you by Kraken War Games. I love this mat. It's krakenwargames.com to check out their mats. One thing I didn't catch until we were actually moving forward is there's actually six objectives. You place the four, then whoever didn't place them chooses their quarter and places another one in their deployment zone on another building. So I chose, uh, basically, Constant placed the four objectives. I chose this quarter and then I placed an extra one. So you can see there's two in my quarter. So that means there will be two in each of the deployment zones and then one in each of the non. So we got those two there. We've got one in this building right here. Point to the ones in your deployment. We have one right down there. And the other one is and in the, the other back. one hidden like back there. And then the last one is in the ruins behind this building. Yeah. So obviously we have to declare what's roads. So we're just we actually just said that the things that look like roads yeah. are roads. If you stay wholly on that and you're not flying, then for your whole movement, then you get three inches extra, which is kind of cool. I deployed first. Lots of blips. I used a command point to place three extra blips. Currently nothing is underground, although that could change with the command point. So I get to choose who goes first. I don't know. I think I want to go first. Yes? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Yes. I don't know, man. Everything being half range is really throwing me off. Because <laughs> my whole plan was to shoot you from a distance, and now I have to shoot you a little closer. Yeah, I mean, I, my, my, most of my guns are like nine inches or something. Yeah, exactly. And then it's the max range is halved, yeah. which means if it's rapid fire, it's four and a half inch range rapid fire. Right. So you know what? I'm going to say for you to go first. Okay. And that way I have a good, because I don't have to reveal my blips until after yeah. you move. Right. So I could react to the way that you move and throw off some of your shooting. Right. Which, uh, it could be clever if I really pay attention to how far you can shoot. Okay? okay. So we're going to go into Adeptus Mechanicus, turn one. It's your movement phase, so we've got to remember a few key things. One is you can't come within nine inches of my blips. Two is if you stay wholly on the road from the beginning to the end, you get three extra inches of movement. And three, I will reveal my blips at the end of your movement. And four, your shooting is all halved. Woo! Yeah. And minus one to shoot. Which canticle would you like to choose? Uh, yeah, it's a rough choice because um, starting with cover, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of planning on getting closer to you, so that might help. Um, cause you could just, you just get cover out in the open kind of right, thing. Right, but, but, but the thing is, I mean, it's, uh, 
Yeah, it, it seemed, and essentially just get cover on it. Yeah, it's plus one to your saving throws, essentially. Yeah. You know what? Any Anything else wouldn't make wouldn't make any sense at this point. So I think I'm going to sh choose Shao Psalm. So just cover yeah, for, for the first Everything has cover. Got it. So Sidonian Dragoon's going to run. Advancing. Oh, yeah. Five inches. And if they stay on the roads, an extra three. But unless you go this way, that's not roads. But, yeah, I plan to go this way. That's why I ran. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been. That would have not been. Yeah, easy. you're pretty fast anyway. I, I, I got to stay nine inches from, away from your guys, from your blips anyway. So um, I don't really care. Charge kind of hard uh, right now, anyways. So yeah, because you know your minimum nine inch gonna, charge. They're 10 inch base move, so they just are as fast. Gonna just run over the bomb. Engine Seer's gonna advance. Yep. Hold him. Six. Oh, yeah. So he gets 12. Keep him in, in repair. Yep. And three. And then everything else is just going to start advancing. Yep, starting with, uh, let's say, this unit. And everything is just advance. You actually rolled really well for your advances. Got all fives yeah, and sixes. Yeah, constantly just fives and sixes. And it's, except they didn't advance. Because yeah, your cult, remind everybody that, or your forge world lets you right. advance you and fire advance assault and weapons as if they were. Uh, uh, no, no penalty. And yeah, rapid fire count as assault after count you advance. So your movement is done, so it's time for me to reveal my army. Three of these blips don't exist, and I could choose to spend a command point and put up the three other ones underground, as long as they're infantry or bikers. They are revealed! So we got my Jackal Alpha, I got two units of Neophytes, three Rock Grinders with their Acolytes, the Icon Ward, the Magus is right here on the objective, and then we got the Jackals back here as well, and then my Sniper. Now I'm actually spending the zero command points, for a perfect ambush. It's normally three command points, but he can do it for free. So I can fire or move D6 inches. I'm gonna fire, and I'm gonna fire at the engines here, right there. So I normally hit on twos, but because everything counts as being obscured, yeah. because of the pollution, I hit on three, four. Mm -hmm. And then because I get into Relic, he gets plus two to his rune rolls. Now your toughness uh, four normally. Toughness four normally? Down to three. Right. I'm strength four, so three's to wound down to one, but so one fails. But more importantly, the plus two to wound means that that six up to get the mortal wound oh. becomes a four up. So because I do D3 damage, if I can roll four up and do that mortal wound and then roll three on the D3 damage, you're just dead. And it ignores cover. Oh, okay, didn't even need the plus two. So it's a mortal wound, Okay. it ignores cover. It's only minus one AP, this is particularly good against psychers, which you are not, obviously. Yeah. So your three up becomes a four up, because it yeah. ignores cover too. Okay, so hoping for... Oh, you got it. All right, well, that was fun. Still took the mortal wound down, so you're down to three wounds. Yeah. So now your shooting phase. Yeah. You're gonna start with your one dune yeah. crawler. One dune crawler there. Shooting Firing what? This, uh, so his neutral laser is gonna go into this um, rock grinder, right? And his two cognizant heavy stubbers are gonna go into, let's see if I can see that, but probably that. Uh, you can see both of them. The question is, are you within 18 inches of them? He's only within 18 of the one right there. So D3 shots from the Neutron Laser. The question is only if I'm going to use a stratagem, stratagem on him, because right now it's minus one to hit on him, right? Yes. So his, What's he, your stratagem do? Um, it gives it gives him plus two to hit. Um, what do you Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, yeah. So I'm going to use the um, Protector Doctrine Imperative on him. How many command points? It's one command point. Usually it's plus one to hit, but he, because he's he has a broad spectrum data tether, um, essentially it, it's an additional minus, plus one, so it's plus two. And then minus one for me obscures. Minus one. So he's back to so he's back to two to hit. Okay, so he's normally threes to hit? He's normally three to hit. Okay, yeah. so D three shots. D three shots. Oh okay, goodness. Uh, I think that rock grinder's gonna die. <laughs> okay. Two's to hit. Two is rerolling ones because the the tech freeze is close by. So he doesn't care about the obscured part of everything. Uh, yeah, with that stratagem. Otherwise yeah, he'd be right. at uh, he'd be at fours to hit and all yeah. three of those would have missed. Right. So good command point. Strength ten, so threes to wound. Yep. So that is Oh three. come on, man! And they are all minus four? They're minus four, yeah. So I have a four up save, so I don't get anything. And then they're three, they're so D6 they're, each, minimum three each. Yeah, right. So you, you're probably killing here. Yeah, that's ten. Well, that's ten, that's but I, I have rugged construction, so I have ten wounds. Wait, no. I have ten wounds, but I ignore them on sixes, so I should be able to survive You know this. what, maybe I'll spend, I'll, I'll spend one command point to roll this one, just to make sure he's dead with one shot. Okay. A little more. Potentially. Because I have a bunch of command points. Nope. No better. No, no better. Because a two was already a three. Right, yeah. So I gotta roll at least one six to stay alive. I don't. Oh. Okay. Mm, Does he explode? Good. At least I didn't roll the six there. So five guys disembark. Every one, so nobody dies. And then we kill the rock grinder. Now the stubbers also hit on twos because of your yeah. spasm that you used. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Okay, that's, that's it. And they're winning on twos because I'm toughness two right now as I'm out in the open. Right, and there's strength four. So. Yeah. So uh, six wounds. Yeah, six wounds. No. no AP, so I get a five up armor. And make two of them. And I have the Acolyte Icon Ward nearby so they can ignore wounds on a six. Still no sixes. That's 14 rolls without a six. So four of them die. And the next one can see the next Goliath. So you're going to put his Neutron Laser, he's worth in 24 inches. Yep. And then the Heavy Stubbers into the same unit. Um, yeah, might as well. They've got good leadership, so there's yeah, no sense well. spreading yeah, out the shots. Yeah, yeah. D3 shots with the laser. Two okay, only this time, but you only hit on fours because yep. of the obscured, and you don't have your... Okay, oh, good, only one hit. One hit. Threes to wound. Yep. That is That's a wound, and a D6 damage. Yep. Because I don't have a save against it. So That's three pretty, damage, because yeah. it's minimum three. That's a little better. Yeah. Sixes to ignore. I still don't ignore. Mm -hmm. So it is down to seven wounds. And then the stubber is hitting on fours as yep. well. Oh, oh, goodness. Twos to wound. Indeed. Oh, jeez. Uh, five up save. Oh, I got one of them. Look, that's my first six. <laughs> Sixes to ignore. Look at that! Man, your dice really like me. Yeah. Four more die. I'm going to keep my leader just for that extra leadership. All your other guns are out of range thanks to the pollution. Otherwise, you'd have a lot more shooting right now. And your two snipers are the only other things that have range. What's your target going to be? Um, I measure they are within 30, because it's 60 base, so they are within 30 inches of, of the, the Sanctus. Yeah. So you're going to go for him? Because yes. they can target characters even yeah, if they're not they closest. Are, they are half the sniper. What's their base blizzard skill? So their base blizzard is 3. So, so they're going to be three. hit on 4s. Yeah. And that is... Oh. Do they ignore cover? They do ignore cover. Oh, because I'd have a two-up cover save. Because there's an Omni Specs in there. Nice. And there's, so, I'm out in the open, so I'm toughness two. They're doing seven anyway, so... Okay, so two's to wound. Yep. Do they do multiple damage? Yeah, they do. How much? <laughs> D3. Uh, I don't... Sorry, what's their AP? Minus two. Okay, it ignores my five up. I don't have a... Oh, wait, no, I have an invuln. Okay. I have a six-up yeah. invuln for being bladed cog. I don't ignore that. No, you can't <laughs> ignore the invuln. <laughs> Still no sixes. Oh, no. I can't roll sixes, oh, no. apparently. How much damage do they do each? D3 each. Okay, he's only got four wounds. Uh, yeah, that's the same. You killed him. Yep, yeah, he's gone. Okay. Yeah. In the battle shock phase, sorry, the morale phase, I lost eight guys here. They are leadership eight. So I will lose D6 more. So I will spend two command points to auto-pass that. And that's the only one that I have to worry about taking. So that was pretty brutal. You... Pretty much spiked yeah. all your rolls, and I couldn't make yeah. a single six plus. That was uh, like even I just had to make one single six plus to keep that Goliath truck alive. Yeah, that, and uh, there's even a stratagem where I can treat him at full health for purposes of all his stuff right. for one turn. Yeah. So I could have still used him at least kamikaze him forward, and then had some fun. But then he died. But he died. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Though. And you almost destroyed my one neophyte squad, and you sniped my Sanctus, who was going to try to finish off your engine seer, who has a special relic. Yeah. But um, yeah. No, that didn't work. Well, that was fun. So now it is my turn one. Genius of the Cult, turn one. I'm going to spend a command point to use my stratagem where it lets me bring D6 models from a troop squad back. Oh, there's a six. I'll take it. There, that's better. I'm going to advance my jackals. It is dangerous, quite literally. So 17 inches. But it will allow them to get in range of this objective. So that's one guy. Uh, I'm pretty much, yeah. Well, one guy can avoid the ruins. So I'll have four rolls for dangerous terrain. I roll four dice for every one I get a mortal wound. None. Okay. Let's get close and personal. As, well, actually, the mining laser only needs to be within 12 inches, so I'm going to hop him over to the other side. I'm going to drive the Goliath Rock Grinder up to 3 inches away so I can actually use my cache. And that was thanks to the road. I wouldn't have had enough distance otherwise. And the other one can drive up thanks to the road. Well, we just got to do this. We got to try to do some damage, see if we can return the favor at all. And then they will die. The jackal will come up to here, make sure he can... Well, it's more his bubble that's important. He's got a bubble. I Sorry, I forgot to say his warlord trait. He gets to choose a unit at the beginning of the game, and anybody within six inches gets to reroll wound rolls. And I chose this one. Mining lasers will move forward. Going to grab some cover, too. 
which will matter against some of your guys. Icon Ward can move nine inches, remember, he's staying on the street. Staying on the streets! And the Acolyte Hybrids will move up nine inches. Gotta love the street rule. You run faster on the street! Dancing on the street. In the shooting phase, I can select a target with him that he can see within three feet. And everybody within six inches gets plus one to hit it. Right. So I will choose that big guy again. Then I'm going to start with this squad, which is within six inches. We're going to fire the two mining lasers at it, and then okay. all of the uh, auto guns at this squad right here. Okay. Oops. The, the bank, the bank. Oh, wait, no, no. They, they'll get cover because they got that barricade. But they all have cover, though. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll fire at them then. Yeah. No, no, I take it back because I want these guys to try to charge. So I'm going to fire at them. Start the mining lasers into the big guy. They normally hit on fours. They ignore the heavy for moving and shooting because of the bladed cog cult. So they'll be hitting on threes. Good, they both hit. They are strength nine. Although because of obscured? Because of the smog? Oh, right. Frick. So they only hit on fours. No, they hit on fours. Plus one. And they, yeah, they're always obscured because of the pollution. Ah, so they just hit on fours. So threes to wound, and I can reroll this because I chose that. Ugh, come on, come on. Thank you. So after AP and cover, you have a five up armor. We also yep. have a five up invuln yep. where you can reroll ones. Yeah, I will take his invuln because. Just one roll. Right. One roll. Oh, yeah. Just one. Five up. Five up. Oh, oh good. Okay. <laughs> D6 damage. How many wounds do they have? Uh, 12. Ugh, okay. Well, I did three. I'm not going to reroll that. Yeah. And then the auto guns, not rapid fire range because mm -hmm. everything's halved into the other unit. Um, they are not getting the plus one to hit, so they're hitting on fives, right? Yeah, because obscured. Yeah, the plus one is only against the, the plus one is only against the target that I chose, right. so they're hitting on fives. Your toughness two though, so I'm wounding you on yeah. threes. Oh, didn't make a difference. It's two wounds, no AP, and you count as being in cover, so you get uh, three up then. So they're four, four up base. Eight. Yeah, three up. Ugh. And one dies. Okay, not yeah. something. Cause bad. This unit will fire the two mining lasers, heavy mining or just mining lasers, into the, the, the dune crawler and then the, all the auto guns into this squad. So hitting the big guy on fours because of all the modifiers. No rerolls. I guess I could reroll, but I'm not going to. Threes to wound. And you get your five up involved yep. rerolling ones. No. D6, D6 damage. I'm rerolling that. Yeah. Oh, no. waste of command points. So you're down to seven. And then the eight auto gun shots into them, hitting on fives. There was a five in there. You have another one. Okay. Yeah, it was only three hits. Really? Threes to wound because you're the minus one toughness. So that's two wounds. You've got cover because of your stuff anyway. So, so uh, one dies. Yeah. Uh, I gotta take a pot shot with the sniper rifle. Actually, no, it's less effective against vehicles. Ugh. I didn't move in such a way that I could see your characters very well. So I'm gonna fire it. I'll just fire a single shot at them right there. And so he'll be hitting. He does not suffer the penalty of moving and firing heavy weapon. So the five will hit. Yep. Strength four, so two's to wound. Mm -hmm. That's six, so that does a mortal wound. So that just kills one. Yeah. And, and then, then does minus, minus two. So your three up becomes a five up. Five up, yeah. Oh, so no. two. So two die, because the D3 damage doesn't that matter here. not nice, but I will take the arc grinder. Well, okay, that was something. Then over here, we're going to start with the first rock grinder. I'm going to throw the uh, demolition charges. And everything else will be on to him as well. It's gonna be minus two to shoot him though, but the but the the flamer auto hits. You know, I'm gonna take the heavy stubber and put it into that group right there. Yeah. Start with the clearance incinerators. They auto hit two d six times. Oh no! <sighs> Fives to wound. Nothing. D six shots with the cash demolition charges. Four. Uh, obscured, and you have your incense burner thingy, so yeah, it's minus two to hit them. So six is to hit. Nothing. Oh, yeah. Heavy stubber into the other squad, so fives to hit them. One hits, twos to wound because they're out in the open. Nothing. Let's try that again. Same targets, same everything from the other rock goliath, or rock grinder. Auto hitting 2d6 times, so well, that's oh, yeah. average. Fives to wound. Three wounds. My minus one, but you can't as being covered, so just whatever so your armor is. Back to a four up. Wait. Ooh. Three wounds. How many wounds? Cash of demolition charges, d6 shots, four. Six is to hit. They hurt if they hit. Oh, we got two hits. Strength eight, so three is to wound. Two wounds. So minus three, but you got cover. So six is to save it. Well, they'd have a six of in one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, sixes. 
Oh, oh you make oh. Oh. You can still kill him though. Two damage. Well, I brought him down to one. Oh, Woo! Boy. And then heavy stubber into the other guys, hitting on five, nothing. Okay. And then we got my ridge runner. I'll put the heavy stubbers into that unit if I'm with an 18, hold on. I am not, so I'll just put everything into that squad again. Start with the heavy stubbers. We'll be hitting on sixes because of all because of your incense cloud. Five to wound. Dang it. So I'm going to waste the heavy mining laser shot if I even hit. Six is to hit. I'm going to declare a charge with my acolyte hybrids. Jeez, that's all I had. Oh, I had my psychic phase. Well, I didn't have anything in range, so it doesn't really matter. They're going to declare a charge into this unit right here. Okay. And, two, and this, we have uh, two of them that can see for Overwatch. So you like to use a stratagem from Urban Conquest? Yeah, sure, why not? It's fun. Um, it's, it's a point-blank overwatch. So, so um, essentially it just means they just fire even... Yeah. Well, it, 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 there's, there's a stipulation. Point-blank overwatch is two command points. Yeah. You actually overwatch after I roll my charge move. Right. If I fail my charge move, you don't overwatch at all. Yeah. But if I make it, you overwatch before I move, mm -hmm. but I count as being in half range of your weapons and line of sight of yeah. all your guys. Yeah. So that's nice. Two guys would be able to fire. So seven inches. I think that's in, we'll see. Yeah. Seven inches was my minimum, so now you can just treat your guys as all line of sight, half range. But they don't I don't count as being within an inch of your guys for the no, minus no, no. one toughness. Doesn't matter, I'm only toughness two anyways so in the open. Plasma calibers first, yep. on sixes. No overshine because there's no point. Um, yeah. So uh sixes. Sixes? No. Uh, no. Nine shots at the rad carbines, getting on sixes. Woo, that was uh, Oh no eight. sixes. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll take that. They Charging in, and they just barely made their charge, so they're gonna block anybody else from attempting to charge. Which is a okay by me. Rock grinder number one will charge. Do you have any Overwatch? No. Anything but a double one. Ooh. In, and the second one will charge. Okay. In. Up. Boom. Into the fight phase, I'm gonna start the acolytes. I'm actually going to pile in in such a way like he was that close to the guy. So I gotta end closer. So I'm gonna go so I'm not touching either of them, but I'm equidistant to both of them. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pile this guy in closer, 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 closer. So it'll be four guys attacking. Do their rending claws first, hitting you on threes. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> we need you on twos. Okay, yeah. minus one, so you get a five up save. Yes, five up save. Okay, two of them yeah. die. Well, I'm not done yet. I got my. Splat. Sorry, there should have been one more raining claw attack. Okay. And it hits because there was a leader in there. And it wounds as well, and you get minus one to that. Okay, so five again. Didn't uh, matter. Cool. And then they're cult knives, hitting on threes, wounding on twos. <laughs> These are no AP, so you get your four of saves. Okay. Uh, Two more. Well, you know what? That worked. Yeah, I mean, they're going to. Mostly going to flee otherwise, so... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pile in to your dune crawler, And not into that guy, because the dune crawler okay. was closer. Yeah. So he's no longer in combat, but the right. dune crawler is stuck in combat. Mm -hmm. Can you fall back and shoot? No. Good. Are you going to spend two command points to interrupt? Yeah, actually three command points, because one, I'm going to spend two command points to strike now, but two, I'm going to do the conquer of Doctrine Imperative. Doctrine uh, What does it do? Yeah, sorry, can't talk. Um, it, it gives them plus two to hit uh, in combat. Plus two to hit? But yeah, so they, it's... So it, their tasers will activate on fours instead of sixes? Yeah. Or does the taser say unmodified sixes? No, the tasers are six up. Okay. It's like Tesla. Okay. Uh, so that's like the... Where do they want to put their attacks? Because those are two separate Goliath rock grinders. Yeah, I know. You want to focus on the weakened one? Split just, your attacks? Let me see. All six going to the damaged one? So they're plus two to hit, so they go from... They're probably hitting on twos now, right? They're hitting on twos, we rolling, but, actually, because of the because of the omniscient mask next to them. But the important part here is that the four pluses four count as two hits. Yeah. yeah. Two hits, right? Not three? Uh, it's... it's No, it's, it's it's Tesla, so do two additional. So it's so three. three. Yeah. Go ahead. So hopefully they're just gonna... Oh, there's oh. a lot of twos and threes. Yeah. So but... there's... That's four extra hits, though. So you know what? That's pretty good. I'll take that. Strength eight, though, so threes to wound. Two oh, wound, so geez. But one. Yeah, you're blowing them up. Five up save because you're minus one for my four up. Yeah. Oh, I did pretty well there. So that's ten damage, which I yeah. ignore on sixes, but we both know how well I do with that. I got seven wounds left, so I need to roll four sixes. Nope, he dies and he does not blow up. Okay, wow, that sucks. 
Those acolytes will all get out. I thought maybe about doing them first, but then the toughness two acolytes on the other side, I'm like, even your little guys could yeah. smack them and hurt them pretty bad. Five guys got out, every one kills one of them. No, nope, nobody dies. And then the other rock grinder will attack. D3 extra attacks on the charge, three extra. So nine attacks hitting on fours. <laughs> Threes to wound. Oh, come on. Minus two. So you get your... Six up in or our whatever, whatever, six up. Yeah. Okay, so I finish off the one. Does he yeah. have a possibility of blowing up? Yeah, he has. Just one more wound, though. So let's see. No. no, he doesn't. Okay, so I finish off the one wound guy. Hmm. Oh, nice. Boop. And now your Dune Crawler can fight back. He hits on fives for some reason. Yeah, I mean, he's it's a walker. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, that makes it easier. So, uh, five. So, so two heads. Two's to wound. Yeah, no AP to these, at least. Six. Okay. okay, five up saves. Hey, okay. look at that, look at that. So we've got some morale to do. This unit lost three. What is their leadership? Leadership seven just, so... So you uh, need to roll four or less. Four or less, yeah. Because they're not within three inches is the range. Let me just check that real quick. But yeah, so they're not, they're not close enough. So, so you need to roll four or less. Okay. So four, you that lost three, good. that's seven. Yeah. You lost one there, it's not enough for a morale. Yeah. Because there's seven. And then I lost two here. It's not enough for morale because they're you eight. Still need to roll for him. Oh yeah, you got the group right there. There's yeah. four of them that he, you he lost. He lost four, but he gets the plus one because he's close enough. So he's leadership eight. Yeah. So he needs to roll four or less as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he, he does. So that's the end of my turn. I uh, killed a few guys. Don't feel very confident. But two rock grinders are dead. One and neither of them got to do anything. My shooting was crap because the only thing I could shoot at was something that was minus two to hit. And the other thing I just rolled really poorly against because I could have done a lot more damage to that with four mining lasers. But alas, tis the roll of the dice. Let's go into Adeptus Mechanicus turn two. Which canticle would you like in your turn? Um, I think I'm going to activate the benediction of the Omnistia. So it's going to be the um, reroll wants to hit in the shooting phase, just because I think I'm maybe... You're going to be doing a lot of shooting. I'm going to spread out a bit, so not everything is going to be within his range, so I think that's going to... So reroll wants to hit, is everybody, shooting everybody, everybody gets everything that. Everything rerolls to hit for shooting. Shooting only. Yeah. Okay. Should also point out at the start of your turn, you grab those two objectives in the back, so that is yep. two points for you. Those are the only two that you currently control. Advancing these two guys, so they yep. can get to the objective, so that's okay. nine inches. You can stay out of the building while you're doing yeah, this too. Yeah, I can stay out. Sorry, you're good, you're good. Right Just pop right next to the objective. And Engine Seer here will jump he into will cover. Just jump into... Yeah, I think that's fine, right there. Other ones are going to move up into cover. Yep, they're just going to move their normal move into there. Dune Crawler, number one. He'll just shuffle right here. Still with Engine Seer will move. Engine Seer buddy will follow, just follow. And then what about the other Dune Crawler? Yeah, Dune Crawler will just fall back to here. Your Dominus? A Dominus. Um, just so that he can see those guys. Why don't you do your repair right now while we're thinking about it? D3 yeah, plus it's one. Yeah, the movement phase, so it's. Uh, so that's three. I'll just keep that. What's his maximum hit points? Um, 12. So okay, I'll so you're back, back up to 10. Yeah. And then one right there. We'll just kind of stay there getting ready to kill uh, those acolytes. Yeah. And then the ones inside the building will pop out. Yeah. Just to right there so that they're within range. So they can fire. Shooting phase, two of the sorry, um, those rangers or vanguard? They, these are rangers, the, yeah, the, these are rangers. Um, so the, just the two Gavanic rifles are in range, unfortunately. And they're gonna fire at the Acolyte hybrids right here. Yeah. Four is to hit because of the obscured. Right, because uh, half range, right? Yeah, so re rolling And re-rolling ones, so they both hit. Yeah. And they're twos to wound. They're, um, no, they're strength, yeah, they're strength four. So yeah, I'm only two toughness two. Okay. And the, what's the AP? And uh, not, nothing. If I had rolled a one to a six to wound, then it would be, but not here. One okay. dice. Dune crawler. Yeah. So the neutron laser is going to go into the buggy. The ridge runner. The ridge runner, yeah, and the heavy stubbers. Heavy stubbers are going to go into the neophyte squad back there. The one out in the open. Yeah, the that's toughness out. two. Right. Start with the neutron laser. Yeah, D three shots. First. Should I pop the stratagem on him? I'm not sure. We gotta decide. How many wounds does he have? You will use the stratagem? Yeah, sure, might as so, well. So you get plus two to your hit rolls, so you're hitting yeah. on twos instead of fours. D3 shots. Yeah, three. Oh, there's the three shots. Hit on twos, re-rolling ones. Indeed. So it's... And then wounding on two. Strength 10, toughness five. Yeah. So no ones here. Nope. No ones. <laughs> Go ahead. 3d6 wounds. I'm not going to be able to save against that. Yes. 
Minimum uh, three. Oh yeah, that's ten so that's already, so thirteen. Thirteen! Uh, he has a flare launcher, so he ignores wounds on a six. I gotta roll a lot of sixes. Yeah, there's not a single one. It uh, doesn't matter if he blows up on a six. That is gone. And the stubborn is also hitting on twos because you did the stratagem. Into the new face court out in the open. Oh, well, that's good. Twos to wound because they're out in the open, so they're toughness two. Yep. Okay, five. <laughs> five up armor saves. So okay, let's save two, two of them, and then six up to ignore wounds because the acolyte icon ward. So two die. Well, that's a little better than last time. Vanguard Alpha into the Acolyte Hybrids, okay. hitting on fours. Yeah, because hitting of the on fours because of Obscure, yeah. Because it's all so, so polluted here. Yeah. So two hits. And winning on threes because strength three, but minus. Uh, but yeah, toughness, toughness two. two. So, uh, that's two wounds. Any AP? No. Five up saves. One dies. Yeah. You got a last pistol from who? The Engine Seer? The Engine Seer, yeah. Yeah, only one can reach. So the worst weapon in the book, so... Uh, hits on a four, wounds on a three. He actually hits on a five, because he's base, but he's... Oh, okay, well, you still hit, though. Yeah, still hit, though. Um, so, threes, actually. Whoop, there's oh, a no. two. Yeah. Eradication array into the neophytes. And the phosphorus serpent adjacent to this, to this guy, because one... Change your mind, everything into them? Yeah, because it ignores cover the, the one shot, it's not really going to matter. So, it's um, D3 shots from the, from the eradication ray. So, that's three again. Hitting on threes because it's obscured. Yeah. Winning on twos because it's strength six. That's AP minus two, but I have cover, just soft cover because mm -hmm. the, everything's worse, so I get a six up save. And then six up to ignore wounds. Nope. Wow, well, my six up ignoring wounds. Have I made one yet? I don't, I don't think I've actually made one yet. Don't oh, wait, no, no, I made one over here. Oh, yeah, Ron. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then the other weapon that he has? The yeah. It's just one shot. Hitting on threes. Uh, yeah, that hits. Strength? Uh, five. So the threes to wound. Threes. No. No. Transurning Arkham. So Galvanic Rifles, Acolyte Hybrids, uh, Big two, Snipers, two yeah. into, into the, the Jackals. Right yeah. So start with the Galvanic Rifles. Right. So hitting on fours. Um, Reel ones. ones. So that's good. Uh, one, one hit. I'm out in the open, some toughness, two. Okay, so two, actually. AP? Four. Um, no. Five up. Oh, oh, saved. Okay. And then the big snipers into the yeah. jackals. Jackals, so fours. So one hit. One hit. And strength? Um, seven. So, so threes to wound. Threes. I'm toughness four. Yeah. No. Wait. Ooh, I got multi toughness going on here. Well, they're not. Because it would be toughness. Yeah, I've got this majority toughness three. So you're actually winning on twos. Oh. Okay, well then. Because it's model by model. So this model is at okay. toughness four, and the rest are okay. three. And so I would say yeah. it's majority three, so we go okay. at threes. Okay. And what's the AP? Uh, minus two. Okay, I failed it. And D3 damage, I got two wounds each. So I kill one. one. We'll and then you have a few rangers inside of there. Yeah. What are they going to fire at? Um, I think Galvanic Rifles are... I mean, I think they're all just going to fire in there because it's going to be rapid fire and the assault are going to be all in range. First? Yeah, let's just let's start with the phosphor blast pistol on the alpha, so just one shot and it doesn't Misses. hit. Misses. It's on four because it was cured. Yeah. Next. And the galvanic rifle next. It is it is in rapid fire range, even though even because of the... Uh, yeah, half and half, right? Four is yeah. to hit, so two hits. Two hits. Strength. And, uh, four, so threes. on threes. And no um, AP? That, that is with AP minus one. Minus one, so my and covered they, save. They do ignore cover. Oh, so it comes they six up then. So one dies. Yeah. Oh, ignores wounds on a six. Nope, one dies. And then the two um, plasma calibers into them. So it's going to be, I don't need to overcharge them, so it's going to be fours. Reroll Re those ones. ones. Oh, uh, no. So just winning on twos because strength seven, right? So. Oh, look, one. AP? Minus three, ignore cover. Okay, so that's another one dead. But you ignore it on a six. Nope, I do not. Mm. I don't ignore a sixes. What are you talking about? So two of them. I want to point out that I think I've now rolled about 40 or 50 of those ignoring wounds on sixes, and I haven't made a single one. Yep. I only have two left that can fire into yep. that squad. Might as well just start with the arc rifle. It's 24 inch rapid fire, so it's just 12 inch now. Only six inch rapid fire, so force right. to hit. Yeah, so force to And you advanced hit. anyway, so it'd be counted as an assault weapon. Miss. Right. And then the other one? Yeah, three shots from the Radium Carbine on uh, fours. fours. So, oh, all of Three them. hits. Does Radium Carbine do more on sixes? No, they, uh, on with, with two wounds, they wound do two six. damage. Oh, okay, so which won't so matter. Well, that'll actually matter here, because then yeah. when I ignore wounds. Right. And and they, they were on fours, because they ignored the running. Uh, they ignored yeah, the yeah, running. yeah, yeah, the penalty. 
three is to wound because I am toughness two. Okay. So that's two. I had to roll this one separate because that's two. Yeah, wounds. I guess. Yeah. Five up. Oh, of oh, course, okay. I passed that one. Five up. So I failed one. Six up. Nope. One more dies. Engine Seer wants to charge? Yeah, I'll charge into the... the Lyth Rock Ranger. Lyth Rock Ranger there. It may just maybe, because if, if I don't kill him with him, then sure. he has an Finish injury. him off. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Now roll, because you're charging in dangerous terrain. Oh, yeah. Why don't you take a mortal wound? Yeah, okay. Just a one mortal wound. Nope, you're fine. So you're in. Booyah. So no other charges, so fight phase. He gets to fight first. Oh, yeah, he has to fight first. So one attack with the servo arm. It's um, strength eight on him, but it's, it just hits on fives. So let's see. Oh, uh, no. An attack with the axe. Yeah, Hitting one attack on four. four. Yeah. Strength? Um, five on him. So Five's to wound. Yeah. Nothing. No. I'm spending two command points to interrupt. So my rock grinder will go next and attack your... Uh, Dune... Uh, no, no Dune it's a Dune Crawler. Iron Strider. Strider, yeah. Dragoon. So six attacks for my guy. Hitting on fours. Oh, no. Strength 10, so we need on threes, right? Oh, you're attacking the end is here. No, I'm attacking him. Oh, yeah. Um, it's strength six. So toughness six? Toughness six. So threes to so wounds. Yeah. So that's two wounds. Ugh. And then they're enough to make you at the six out there, minus three. No, nope. okay, I might kill him. Two D3. I got a maximum damage here. Yeah, so four damage. I didn't kill him. So and I'm, now you can hit back. Yeah, I'm going to pop the one command point again. So we're down to three. So you're down to three. So that way you're getting plus two to hit. Yeah. So hitting on so twos, fours count as. Look at that. That's, so that uh, is, that's uh, four more. So seven out of three hits. Yeah. Freeze to wound. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's that's rough. Minus one AP, so I get a five up save. Oh, jeez. Uh, and it's two damage, right? Yeah. Which I ignore in sixes. Still no sixes. Just want to put that out. I'm down to eight. You know, that's that's better than before. Yeah. Morale, I lost two there, but I'm leadership eight, so I'm fine. I lost. Well, then I had six come back, and I had two, so I was up to eight. So I lost three there, so six, one more will run. No. Lost four from that squad, so five or six, I'll lose more. And I lost one of the jackals, but they're leadership eight, so no bar, nobody else is going to run. Well, you did a lot less damage than I thought you would. Yeah, so uh... At the end of your turn, the score is two nothing. And at the beginning of my turn, it'll be three to two for me, because I control three of the objectives. Right. None of them in your deployment zone, though. I'm going to spend a command point to bring back D6 Acolyte hybrids. Two of them. Would have liked more than two, but oh well. The squad of neophytes is going to move into this building, so I've already measured the six inches and it gets my mining lasers right to there. So I'll move him up. I have my Acolyte icon where to move up nine inches because of the, the roads. These Acolytes are going to get out of this death trap before they die from said death trap. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? They're going to get on the other side. And they're going to move. There's a door. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to move them up here. Just to... Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We're going to move. So their squad. Go to the destroyed. Goliath Rock Grinder will move up. Uh, bikes are just going to hunker down in the cover. That won't matter because you'll just keep shooting at them with your ignore cover stuff. These acolytes are just going to move over to here. And these neophytes will move up to get within six inches, but still holding that objective. Psychic phase. Imagine it's just going to smite. It'll kill this one guy right here if I roll five plus. No, I do. That's 11! Oh, D6 <laughs> mortal wounds! Well, there's no way for him to ignore wounds, right? Unfortunately. Uh, he's, he was the closest, so. Shooting phase, he is going to select this dune crawler again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because he can't see the other squads that will be shooting at, and they're all a bunch of little squads. So everybody else will get this squad. They're both squads are within six inches. I'm going to put the two mining lasers into him, and then all of the rapid-firing auto guns into the squad that's right in here. Yeah. So two mining lasers will hit on fours. They mm -hmm. ignore the heavy. Plus one for the guy, but minus one because everything's always obscured. Well, one hit. Mm -hmm. Threes to wound, re-rolling, because I had chosen that guy as the target at the beginning. Uh, it is could be his five-up invuln. Okay. Otherwise, d6 damage. Five up. No. You get three again. Arr, three damage. Arr. And then the auto guns into the other target, hitting them on fives, because it was skewered. Ooh, one hit. And they're now in the building, so their toughness is three, three, so four is to wound. And then you get your four-up save. Um, yeah. Oh, three up because of yeah, their they yeah, get soft cover. Still, yeah. Soft cover. 
You're yeah. good. The other squad will rapid fire at these two, oh, no. who don't get cover, and mining lasers into that. So mining lasers hitting on fours. Oh, poppycock. And then three guys rapid firing, hitting on fives. Ooh, and you're out in the open, so winning on threes. Yeah. Okay, and you don't get cover, so you get your four up save. Save, you're gonna make a lot here. One dies. Uh, yeah, sure, out. Three pistols into your Dominus. Fives to hit. Nothing. Sniper rifle into your Dominus, because okay. I can fire at him as a sniper rifle. Okay. Misses. Oh, yeah. And these five acolytes will fire their pistols. Actually, want to throw a blasting charge because they're in range. So it does one shot. Okay, so it's just basically the same as a pistol. Hitting on fives, waiting on fours, and you get your three up save because of soft cover. Okay. You're fine. Charging. These three we're gonna fire. Are gonna charge your Dominus. Okay. So eradication ray, D three shots. It's a two. two shots hitting on sixes. Yep. Sixes. No. Nothing. Yeah. Serpent up. Um, Sixes? Yep. No. And then they charge and make it. And then my leader is going to charge in. Yep. These five are going to charge the squad of four. Starting with. Um, I start with the plasma calibers, why not? Plasma calibers, six, yep. six is the hit. Six to hit. Nothing. Oh, no. Yeah, the only reroll ones in your shooting phase. Okay. And what's the other weapons you got? Um, it's the, well, okay, so it's one um, foster blast pistol. Sixes. Yeah. Nope, and? Oh. And um, uh, galvanic, galvanic rifle. rifle. Sixes. No. Oh. And then I will charge ten inches. Okay, so your turn of whiffing has actually brought hope back to me. Yeah. Because I could kill a lot of stuff right now. And then these five will charge these two. Six, eight inches. We're gonna make that. The little engines here is gonna be our priority. And you know what, these five are gonna risk it. They're gonna charge this guy right here. So you okay. can overwatch and then I'm gonna have some dangerous terrain to do. Oh, slow down, back up. Five guys charged in the building. One of them dies, or one of them takes a mortal wound. Three guys here charge into the building. One of them dies to mortal wounds. Well, the unit takes a mortal wound, so let's deal with the back. And then everybody else is fine. Overwatch first over here. Six is to hit. You got one oh, hit. Six. Strength? Uh, three. So, so four is to wound, because I'm right. in the building. AP? Uh, nothing. You don't ignore cover? No. So four up save. Right. And then I got five guys charging. And one dies from mortal wound. And the other ones make the charge, because I'm within three inches, thankfully. <laughs> I didn't really want to go far anyways because I want to hold that objective. You still have three command points, so I have to be careful what I'm going to choose in the fight phase because there's a couple things that you might want to interrupt with. Particularly worried over here, although you've got three, yeah, so you could spend two command points to interrupt and then one for him to go right. nuts. Yeah. So you know what, I, I, I think I do need to start here. Okay. No, I can't start with him because I did not charge with him. But you can start with the five guys. Yeah, yeah, with the four guys, but they're not, I guess they could kill him because he's toughness six or seven. Six. Six. Can. I could run him to death, but I'd really rather use these guys to kill the engine engines here. Not worried about there. It's more here I'm worried about. So let's start. Okay. Let's you know what let's just start here. Three acolytes okay. into your Dominus. So we got six ready nope, sorry, seven ready to claw attacks, because there's a leader in there. Hitting on threes. Four hits. Your toughness three because you're out in the open. Right. So threes to wound, six is rending. Oh garbage. Two wounds, minus one. So a two up goes to a three up, uh, and he makes one of them. So fails one, so he's down to four wounds. So he's not dying from them. Cult knives hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Two more wounds. One. Two up saves. Two of them. Two of them. Two up. Oh, oh that's... fails another. So he's down to three. Did, did you want to interrupt? Yeah, I'm gonna spend my last three command points to um, kill him. With what? With him. Okay, so you're gonna spend two command points yeah. to interrupt, and then one to get right. plus two yeah. to hit. So so three hits. Three to hit again. So twos, but fours is what I'm looking for, and I'm rerolling this one one. Why do you reroll the one again? Uh, because of the omnish, uh, the right, the relic that you're taking. The mass. So it's a hit, three hits, and three more hits. So seven again. I'm uh, hitting them, so it's twos. Your strength six at least, right? Yeah, I'm strength eight. Yeah, so it's a two. So it's Hopefully, AP minus one. AP minus one, yeah. Okay, so I got a six up save. 
Well, there's some sixes, but that's exactly how many I have. There's no way to ignore it. So you kill all four of them. And now you are at a command point, so I can kind of do whatever order I want here. So I'll do my jackal. It's got three attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on fours, nothing. Okay. Then we've got these four acolytes into them. Rending claws first, hitting on threes. Wounding on threes, rending. Ugh, so that one's just going to kill one. The other one's a minus one. Okay. So minus one, so five up. Yep. Oh no. So sorry. I kill two. Two. And then they're knives. Threes. And threes. So four more. Four up saves. And uh, that kills the rest of the squad. Yeah. So the whole squad is gone. Dude. Dude. And I am going to consolidate into the Dune Crawler. Yeah, it makes sense. Try to mitigate your shooting. I know that means you can stomp on them a bit. But I gotta do what I gotta do, right? You know, I'm gonna do it so only one guy's out in the open. That way I still have majority toughness three. I know for right now that won't matter, but it might matter later. And these four will attack. We've got the leader in there, so it's three attacks, and the leader has three attacks with this chain sword. Hitting on fours. Ooh. Wounding on threes because your toughness two out yeah. in the open. So it's four wounds, no AP, so four up saves to keep one guy alive. Not likely. Well, let's see. Got him. Oh, just, just, just got him. See ya. And they'll just stay on that objective. That is all the chargers, and so now we go back and forth, starting with me. So I can start with the Goliath Rock Grinder. I think his target needs to be this thing. Even though I want to kill that thing too. While well, I'm still up health with six attacks, hitting on fours. Okay, not bad. Threes to wound. Oh. I'm re-rolling one of those. Screw it. My last command point. Okay. Yeah, okay. You get your... Six up save. Six up, yeah. Invul! No. D3 damage. Oh, frickin' crap! What a waste. Now you can select a unit. I'm all done with all of my guys, so you still have him, him, and him. Yeah, might as well just start with uh, the, the... Let's start with the tech reach, why not? What's he attacking? He has three attacks. He has... how many wounds? So you're gonna attack everything the Acolytes? Yeah. Hitting so on? Threes. Okay, yeah. And then wounded on twos. I'm toughness two. Right, strength five, so AP? Two. two. So there's no saves. Yeah. And it's two damage. Two damage, damage apiece, so. and I have the uh, Acolyte nearby, so I have to roll right. double sixes yeah. to keep him alive. No, 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 you'll notice I didn't roll any sixes. <laughs> yep. Then you got your Dune Crawler into my Acolytes? Yep. So three attacks on fives. Uh, that's, oh, that's come on, right. man. Uh, Two's to wound, because he's strength six, right? Yeah. Is he strength six? If he's he strength, strength five. He is strength six. Because if he's strength five, that doesn't do anything. It's strength six, toughness seven. So strength six. Fine. Five up saves. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, baloney. And then he enters here into the Goliath Rock Rander. Okay, uh, you know what? Just, yeah, just because. Why not? Um, uh, the um, servo arm. I. Maybe it's not the best choice, but I don't care. Well, so you have to attack one attack with the servo arm? No, it's I can max one attack with okay. the servo arm. All right, attack. Five's to hit. Five's a hit. Five's a hit. No, misses. look at that. Wouldn't have hit anyway. So now the axe. the axe on a four. Also misses. Didn't matter. Morale phase, I lost three of these acolytes. Leadership eight. We're good. Yeah. I lost one here, but leadership eight, so we're fine there. And any of your squads that I shot at or fought, which is just the one, I just wiped out. Man, I did. That was pitiful. I lost, I had five guys here, I lost all five of them before they could do anything. I had five guys here, killed four of your yeah. cheap rangers, and then three of them died, partly to charging and partly to this guy. I had three of them charge him and do no, pretty much nothing, and then die. He fired, charged in, did nothing. And, um, yeah. The only thing that's going for me is the objectives. Because I'm holding four of them now. So we'll see what happens as we go into your turn three. For the canticle, you just want to randomly decide? Roll! Yeah, I, I spent too much time thinking about it, so I'll just roll. Let the Omnisa guide me. Three! Uh, what is it? And hit rolls of, yeah, re -roll, hit rolls of one in the fight phase. Okay. Beginning of your turn, you control two objectives. Two objectives. Bringing the score to four to three. So I'll shuffle these guys up a bit. Keep one back on the objective. Yeah, but I'll conga line them a little. Oh, well, then it's going to be like that then. Engines here. Move to there. No, can he still repair when he's in combat? Oh yeah, he, even, oh. He, if he, even if he retreats, he can just. He Great. Can just always do it. Well, <laughs> I've done six wounds. I've done like three more wounds. I should be down to four. Yeah. But, oh, <laughs> such wasteful mining lasers. Falling back with the Strider. Yeah, I was thinking. Don't want to stay there and taser the Goliath Rock Rider to death. Well, 
even the command is above him right now, and I need a bit of board control, a bit more. So maybe I will, maybe I'll like move him to there or back here. I'll so you change your mind? Yeah, not falling back with him, but just falling back with him. Doom Crawler will fall back. Yeah, just to here though. Stay within range. We oh. forgot to repair or to heal your Dominus. Yeah, D3. His, his healing is at the start and the others at the end, so. And he gets one of his hit points back, okay, so he's back up to okay. four. No, that's, not, that's four. And now at the end of the movement phase, you get D3 plus one back. Yeah. So. And you can reroll that D3. So that's three, that's fine. Ah, oh, you've healed six wounds on him. He'd be normally down to four right now. Oh, and you're going to repair over there, too. Uh, I'll one. One, though. So well, you watch. Two. I'm going to somehow only do one wound to you. So, Ranger's here. Fire at the remaining acolytes. So everything but arc rifles, two shots yep. total. Getting on. Uh, you can keep that. that. That's yeah. Keep it. Sure. Yep. Okay. So, um, so three. but you were hitting on a four. Yeah. We're normally on threes. A yes, guitar are normally threes. Okay, and then it's strength six though. So two so to it's wound. Two to wound. Yeah. AP? Minus one. No ignore cover. No ignore. Well, I don't have cover because I yeah, only have, I have one guy on. But minus one. So six up. No. Uh, icon's not nearby. Take the one out that's out in the open. Then two galvanic rifles on uh, fours. Miss, no. miss. Last, Last pistol into him. Yep. So you're hitting on a five. Miss. Yep. Range. Galvanic rifles are in range to fire at the acolyte. Is that what you're going to fire at? Yeah, they're going to fire at the acolyte. And then with these two, are going to fire at the jackals. And we're going to remember this time that jackals give you minus one to shoot them. Okay, yeah. In addition to the obscured. Right. So start the sniper sitting on fives. No, that's a four. Uh, but as a hit. Strength seven, so threes to wound. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. Because now I'm on the train. Everywhere. Threes to wound. Yep. What's the AP? Minus two. Ignore cover. Uh, I think. So ignore my armor altogether. So let's see if I kill one. D three. You oh, don't. I don't. So wound this one back here. We forgot to bring in your rust stalker or your infiltrators, yeah, and they'd be dead them. if you don't bring them in right now. Okay. So we'll just bring them in now. I'm gonna drop in the back near my magus. Oh, my magus. My magus. There it is. But their guns are reduced to six and trained, so they won't be able to fire. Yeah. Lastly, you got your Dune Crawler. What's it going to fire at? Yeah. Two heavy stubbers. 24 inches. Let me so heavy stubbers into these neophytes. Neutron laser into the poor yeah. Icon Ward. Neutron laser. Neutron first. laser. Ugh. One shot. Oh, now we got one shot. <laughs> on a four. On a four, because of minus one. Yeah. Okay. It, hits. it hits. Wounds on a two. Yeah. So let's oh, there we go. Oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> of course, but it doesn't matter. He fl that's what he totally whiffs. And then you got your stubbers into them. Right. Hitting on uh, fours because... No, one's because of the... Yeah, because of the canticle. Tech pre no, not because of the tech priest. Oh, the canticles for the fight phase. Wounded on threes because they are now inside. No, not twos. They've got soft cover. Right. You're not ignoring it, right? Yeah, no. So, so four up saves. All right. And the, the icon ward is there, so six up. Oh, I made my first six up! Woo! Yeah! Who? <laughs> no charges, so fight phase. Wait, yes, I could try to charge. Oh, you could try to charge over there. It'll be a long bomb, nine inch charge. Yeah, I might as well. I'll try to charge my Magus. <laughs> no! Oh, yeah. No! That's my objective. Uh, that is an enormous deal, because you're going to grab my objective, which is worth two. You won't get any points this turn. No. But, but you'll stop me from getting one point, and then I'm going to have to work really hard not to get you to do two points. I don't know how I'm going right. to stop him from getting it. But I have to roll five dice, and maybe a bit more. Well, points. that's true. You did charge too dangerous, so if you roll a bunch of ones right here, you could die. Uh, and you don't roll any. Of course not. Hmm. So you got to do this fight first. One, two, oh, I've been forgetting I got a six up invuln all over my army. You've been uh, firing at my bikes and stuff. Oh, well. Okay, so you've got a bajillion shots hitting on. Uh, threes rolling ones because of the canticle. And sixes are. Yeah, you just. Three hits. And uh, four, four extra hits, I mean. Yeah, reroll that one. Reroll that oh, one. one. Yeah. Oh, there's okay. another one. Choose to wound. I don't know why we're rolling this. Obviously, I'm dead. Ah, Remove that okay. one one. Yeah. I have to spike a five up armor save roll like nothing I've ever done before. I'm dead. Okay. He killed him. That was pretty lucky. For you? Um, extremely, yeah. Yeah, well, to make the charge. Like, yeah. That might actually be the turning point of the entire game. If I can't get you off that objective, because if you had failed that charge, I'd have another turn of getting another point, yeah. and you'd have another turn of not getting two points, and I could just ignore them. Right. I think the Magus would just basically walk in, smite them, and then just cross its fingers, because obviously it's going to die after that. So now we go back and forth. Who are you going to go with first? Yeah, obviously the June Crawler. So you can't good. buff him this time. No, but so I'm you're just hitting roll, on your normal threes. I'm just going to roll three sixes now. It's, it's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, reroll the one. one. Reroll the one. The six in there so far. Okay, okay. so it five hits out of three. Threes to wound. 
So all I need right now. You can roll like me. Whoa! Spread oh, those I, dice. Oh, it's one. You got one. Uh -huh. So I get a five up save against it. I fail it. So that's two damage, which I ignore on sixes. Hey, I've made one of these out of fifty so far. And yep, yeah, well, so it takes two damage. Not enough to bracket him though. Obviously, I'll pick my leader before you kill him. Hitting you on threes, one hit, wounding you on nothing. Okay, and then you can hit me back with your three attacks. Hit me on threes. Yep. We roll ones. Right. Strength so, again? Um, strength five, so two. So threes. Because you're... Oh, no, I'm a oh, toughness three. four. Oh, yeah. Down to threes. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so threes to wound. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay. Then my rock grinder can it finally kill you. We got oh four is to hit. Well, it's still enough. Thank no, you. it's not. Three to wound. You get your six up save. <laughs> and because you healed one, when I do D three, oh, I kill it. Oh, yeah. On the six, it blows up. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Just roll. Okay, stop. Okay, get rid of that stupid oh. thing. I am not going to consolidate into the engines here. I will consolidate slightly closer to him. Why not? Whoop. <laughs> Uh, there's no morale to take. You killed one guy here, that's not enough, and you didn't really kill anything out of any other no, groups. didn't even kill a guy there, just did a wound, but yeah. yeah. You ki and you killed one acolyte right there. Right. That wasn't enough for him to have yeah. to run, so... <sighs> okay... It's my turn. I'm holding three objectives. That's worth three points. I'm gonna move back this way. If I can somehow spike the dice rolls, I can try to kill those rest of the infiltrators. This one acolyte is going to move over here and jump on board. <laughs> Hello. And then he's going to drive. He's in the road. I measured it, and I'm just at a three-inch range to throw the demolition charges. But I'll get in range of everything else. Yeah. This squad is going to move to get within 12-inch range of them as well. But staying on this objective. If I can shoot you off that objective, I have a chance. Here, just, just, yeah, there it is. I'm going to fall back with my Jackal Alpha to here to get within six inches of both of them and be able to see them. My Acolyte Icon Ward will come back. Yeah, I focus pretty much the rest of my army back here. Let's shoot. Let's start with the further away squads. Squad in there, everything into them. Oh, he's going to target them as the plus one to hit. Yeah. Mining lasers hitting on fours. Oh, nice. Twos to wound. Dang, nabbit! I don't have any dice to re-roll that. Uh, it's minus three. Uh, I still have a six-up in Six-up in Yeah. No. Yeah, killed you one. Killed. I want to kill this one. Yeah, get away from the charges, right? And then the, all my auto guns. All three of them. Hitting on fours. Oh, look at that. You're out in the open, so your toughness two. Yeah. So when you're on threes. Huh. What's your save normally? Four. Four up save. Go for it. Oh, jeez. Sorry, man. You I'm threw it at me. Yeah. I don't even know. Is it these three dice? Was that was a five, five, and a one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that's one wound. To You're going to wound this one? No, no, the one closest to the... Uh, Over here? Yeah, this one. Okay. Then I will fire at this squad next. I'm going to start the auto guns and then the mining lasers. Yeah. Four auto guns. Hitting on fours. Oh, jeez. Wounding on threes. Okay, three wounds. And you get what kind of save again? Four up? Yeah. Just keep it here this time, all right? There we are. Oh, we finished off the one. Neat. I wanted you to do either one or three, not two. Mining lasers, fours to hit. Ooh, two hits. Twos to wound. There we are. You get six up invulns. Otherwise, they're d6 damage apiece. Okay, so that's not a one at a time. Not a one on the first one. Ah, oh, frick! Doesn't matter what I roll, because it kills one. Uh, Can't complain too much, though. I am killing them. All right, now everything from him. Still within six inch range. Two d6 auto hits with the incinerator. Seven. Okay. Two's to wound. Yeah. So five wounds. Minus one, so you're five up. Right, five up. Um, so I mean... Jeez, yeah, two. So one. Yeah, so one dies. What's the leadership of these guys? It's just seven, I think. So you've lost four? Yeah. So right now, if I do nothing else on a four plus, the other one runs. Yeah. Heavy stubber. Misses. We'll do a blasting charge. No, blasting charge is only three inch range, so just an auto pistol. Misses. That's all I got. Goliath Rock is going to declare a charge. Which I don't think you're in range of. Oh wait, you have six. Oh no, you are six inch range because you're yeah, only you twelve should, inch, right? You're yeah, no, I was within six to shoot, right. so you're within six to fire. Five shots and on sixes. Yep. Uh, Hit. One. What's the strength? In three. So oh, sixes. Six. Yeah. No. No. And then I charge. I make yeah, it. Good. I'm not going to touch you. The Acolyte icon mortal charge too, just in case. Yep. I can use it seven inches to move them here to get to the objective. 
No other charges, we're on objectives. Goliath Rock Grinder will pile in by going like this, thus getting two of my models within three inches, and then attack. D3 extra attacks. Ooh. Nine attacks, hitting on fours. You don't have any minuses to hit, right? No. Oh no! These are all strength yeah. 10. Twos. This is a little spindly guy. Six up in bonds. He's easy to run over. Yeah, he's about to get. Uh, oh yeah. Bruh. I don't want really want a picture what that looks like right now. That look yeah. at that, look at those blades. Bruh. I'll consolidate towards the nearest thing I can see. Just a little puddle of blood and oil there. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, right about there. That's all I got. I put my entire army into killing one squad. I got them though. That would have been really bad if I didn't. So we're going into turn five now. Yeah. You're getting two points, so you're tying up the score six six. Mm -hmm. So you're actually falling behind in victory points, right. and so um, and this could be the last turn. So essentially, I if I need to get you off one of these objectives to get to make you get only get no because if I get one no, objective, I'll be at two of, two of I'm on objectives. I'm on four objectives right now. Right now, yeah. You need to kick me off of all of them because the the score will be is six six right now, but on my turn five. Now I'll gain some points, and then if the game ends, you have lost. Yeah, well, so basically, I think at this point you're hoping the game continues, because you're slowly destroying my whole army. And you know, I'm slow. I've killed a lot of your stuff too, yeah. but yeah. Uh, the rest of what you have is going to be very hard to finish off. So you're you're hoping for a longer game here. Yeah, we'll have to see. Let's see what happens. You're gonna roll for canicles because you hope for one that you had. You get the yeah, re-roll ones to shoot. Right? The, the only ones I can choose anymore is plus one strength, which I don't yeah. really re-roll failed morale. I, I could choose that because I rolled that, I, and that is that won't do anything. So that just roll it then. Or just yeah. roll it. Let's see. So well, that's just four. Oh, that's that's, everybody gets cover. Yeah. Here, Dominus goes back to full. Yep. You're gonna advance the squad. Yeah, it's just dangerous. Conga line. So there's the idea to get with. Roll the idea. advance first. Yeah. So that's two. Two. So and then roll eight. five dice, and everyone is a mortal wound. So let's just hope for quadruple one. one. Or, okay, no, no, there's none. Okay. So they all come down, and this guy's just close okay. enough to get that objective. So he's gonna run. I measured it. He needs a four-inch run to a four on his run roll to get within range of the objective there. Right. But I'll still be the one controlling it. Yeah. Right now, the idea is I shoot you off. Oh, I see. So you need a four, two. Uh, no way to reroll it either. Yeah. I just moved to the. He need to roll a six for his advance yeah. to get to the objective. Yeah, something like that. So let's, let's see. One. Uh, no, that's not. Brings him to there. Doesn't really matter. Eight to there. Boop. Oh, they're doing crawler He's over as well. Go with his buddy to there. This one can advance an inch. I don't you were know. just out of being within range of it, right? I think so, yeah. Well, how far? If you measure to the center. Because nine inches. Here, put your measuring tape down there. Keep, keep moving it until you're gonna okay. say. <laughs> Don't worry about the model. Just, just stick yeah. your measuring tape so we can see where it is. So keep going, keep going. Stop right there. That's the center. So and he is pretty much yeah. He's a he's a half an inch out of that. So he's not gonna be able to control that objective. Wait, he's nine and a half inches away. From oh, okay, then you're good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So you would have been three and a half if you didn't run. So now you're two and a half inches away. So just move him up. We'll just remember that. Just plop him forward. He just won't be able to charge or shoot or anything. And the Dominus will move up. Just move to there. And then who wants to heal this big guy? Um, Any of them can. Uh, he want, if he's within three inches, he can just get both the wounds back. Yeah, he'll just stay within three inches. And boom, full health. You're going to advance that other unit in the back there, the Rangers? Might as well. Six inches. Okay. They're going to use the road to go a little faster. Oh, they can't see those guys in there if they go to there. Nope, there's no window. I can get them up to right here, though. So they will be able to shoot those guys. Sure. Issues. I forgot to see if he takes a mortal wound on a one. No. Shooting phase. He will to target them with his heavy, carbon is heavy stubber. And his blaster? Yeah, in the... Um, rock grinder? Rock grinder. Start with the blaster. You know what, actually, let's start with the left one, because it's further away. So same thing? Yeah, blaster, same. stubbers? Yeah. D3 shots with the neutron blaster. One, hitting on a four. Hitting on a four. Well, that's still a hit, you can still kill it. Three's to wound. I don't get a save, so d6 damage, minimum three, so four. four. I've got six wounds left. Yeah. Ignore the one sixes. Two. There we are, oh, finally. No. It's down to three. See, if you hit with the other one, you'll probably kill it. Packing Stubbers. Into the neophytes first. And on fours. Okay. There was one one there you rerolled and missed. Yeah. So I got two hits, wounding on threes, because I'm not out in the open. Uh, so one. Four up save, because I have cover. 
one dies. Believe me, I am removing one. See, I reach in. No, not that one. Other one's gonna do the same thing? Yep, same thing. Neutron laser, three, three shots. shots, oh no. I'm gonna finish off that rock grinder. Four is to hit. Let's see, four is to hit. You're running uh, the one one. Why, yes, yeah, because you got the guy nearby. Threes and to wound, threes. double twos. Yes, one, no. So D6 damage, minimum three. Let's just see oh, three. This, okay, you got three. Uh, three. I've got three left. Oh, so no. I for all any sixes, I stay alive. Ah! No, of course not. Do I blow up? Please don't. No. Okay. My little acolyte here is gonna hop out right back here. On a one, he dies. He's alive. Okay, the other way around. <laughs> and then the two cognos heavy stubbers into the neophytes inside of this building right here. Four is to hit. Ugh. Reroll once. Ugh. Three is to wound. Oh, maybe I can roll some four up saves. No! That leaves one, right? Uh, no, there's only, there's only three left. Hold on. Hold on, let's see. I know everybody's gonna stuck. crash. The one guy's stuck. <laughs> there's only three left. You killed them all! You got me off the objective. <laughs> Sorry if that. But I didn't, I didn't manage to get on. You don't get it, but you still denied me a point. That was True. one of the things you're trying to do, right? True. Rangers into the neophytes. Arc rifles first. Fours to hit. Yeah. Pre willing the one. Why again? Because they're because near the tech priest dominance? Not yeah. oh, because they're canticles. Okay. Strength? Six. So Two's two. to wound. That is AP? A, uh, one. So five up because of cover. They do not ignore cover. They don't have one of the things. So five up. Oh, six up. Nope. Yeah, icon word's not there. So one's dead so far. So you are dead. Two shots with galvanic rifles, because oh. half range. Fours. Um, okay, both hit. And, and then strength four, so threes. threes. But sixes will be do will do be minus one. So that's one with minus one. And the other one with? Nothing. So four up, five up. So two die in total. So you. And then your two snipers will attack my yeah. alpha. It's the only Can't see anything else. Now yeah. it's minus one to hit him on top of the obscured. Right. So fives so to hit. Five. One okay. hits. Strength seven, so two's to wound because he's toughness actually. three out in the open. That's a more that's that's D three mortal wounds in addition. I think. Let me check. D three in addition to the D three damage. It's it. So it does one mortal wound yeah. in addition, but I get a six up invuln against the rest, which I fail. You do D three damage here, and you do oh, one more, so he does two wounds. Okay. Brings him down to three wounds. And lastly, you got the Dominus. The Only Dominus target. Will shoot everything into the neophytes. So let's start with the eradication ray. D three shots. Three. Oh no. This isn't good. Hitting on... Um, Minus one. Yeah, but fours because he moved. He oh, it's heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. So fours, unfortunately... Does so he reroll his own ones? That He does, but that three does not hit. And that does not. Strength? Six, so two's it will... Two's to wound. Yeah, two's to wound. AP? Minus uh, two. So six up save. No. Another one bites the dust. And then Phosphorus Serpenta? Uh, misses. Doesn't hit. No charges. So going to morale phase. I lost three guys here. Leadership eight. We're fine. We just recalculated. Realized that we've been doing our points wrong. The score is actually nine to eight for the Genius of the Cult before my turn five. Yes. And so that makes you want to be a little more aggressive. Yeah. So you're going to attempt to charge right there? Hold on. I'm going to overwatch. Yeah. Mining lasers. Miss. Uh, auto gun. No, it hits. And it, uh, oh, it wounds! And you get a two up save. Oh, oh, surprise. You need a six inch charge. You're within seven inches. Ooh, whoa! Oh. Okay. Well, that's okay, that's dangerous for you. So now it's, that, then. now it's my turn. Yeah. I'm gonna move these guys back. So I get out of 15 inches possibility of any galvanic rifles. At this point, I just gotta stay alive. There's not anything else I can do. I hope the game ends. And if it doesn't, then I hope that I'm ahead enough that you can't catch up. My one acolyte will just hide, so you can't see him at all. I don't think there's any way for you to get to him. I will move my skilled outrider onto this objective right here, making sure I can still see your engine seer through that window with my three wounds left. And these three will just shuffle over. We're gonna try to take out that engine seer. I don't know if it makes much of a difference. At this point, I'm just hoping the game ends. So I will choose that engine seer as my target, so anybody within six inches of him gets plus one to hit. So he'll shoot at it first, and hits! Woo! Two's to wound. No, that was the Sanctus. Uh, your toughness four, so four's to wound. Nope! They'll fire at him, hitting on uh, fives because of the obscurity. 
mining lasers first. Rapid fire auto gun, one hit. I did not wound. Oh, I forgot to move this icon ward. He'll, he'll, I don't know, care, whatever. That's my turn. It's 12 to 8. The game ends here. I win. Somehow. Yeah. I'll have eked out a victory, even though you're clearly killing me. Yeah, well, so I'll let you roll. At 3 plus, the game continues. Mm -hmm. You ready? What Can you make I a 3 plus to, save? What do I have to roll? You want me to roll it? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> Go! <laughs> ah! Oh, the game continues to turn six. So you've got two objectives, so the score is now 10 to 12. So what you need to do now is get me off of objectives and take more objectives. Right. Because otherwise you will not be able to catch but up. Then I'd still, we still have to go to turn seven to win, to win by points. Yeah. yeah. We knew that already. We, we knew that you had to, to get right. past it because you weren't able to grab the middle objective right. or the other objectives. So, so you, you're hoping for a, to get me off of a bunch of objectives yeah. and then to get on the important ones. But I mean, you're almost at the one that's worth two victory points, right? Yeah. So you get me off of that one and that one. You want to do quick math? So let's say you shoot me off of that one and take it. That should be easy. Mm -hmm. Let's say you shoot me off of that one and take it. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be too hard. Yeah. Okay. You can't kill this guy right here. You can't take this objective. You probably, you might be able to take some pot shots at them with one of your guys. Yeah, but, but let's say, okay, let's say you don't take them off. Can you win? Well, then in my turn, I get two points. I go up to 14, to your 10. And then in your next turn, you get two, three, four, five. And you're winning, 15 to 14. Right. So when you and then you need to take me off of another one to not be a tie. Yeah. So you have to, Go to turn seven and kill all of my army. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Challenge accepted? Yeah, I mean. Or do you just want to concede? What else? I mean, might as well try. Right, why not? Right. Right. Yeah. Kentacle! Six would be nice. Oh, okay. reroll ones for shooting. Yep. Come on! <laughs> Dice, you're not being nice to me. Come on, dancing Matthew. Shine for me, not him. Ranger is six inches in here. Oh. Now, if you had made that charge last turn with the Tech Priest Dominus, this would be very different. Because I would have got one less point, and then you'd be sitting on two more points. Different, indeed. Oh, we've got to back up there, all that, that explanation. Um, you're actually better off than we thought, because the score is 15 to 10 right now, right? Yes. Hold on, let's do a recalculation really quick. Okay, fix this. 12 to 10. It's 12 to 10. Yeah, yeah. but in your turn, you will have... Yeah, in my turn, I will yeah, get possibly turn. more. Depends. Or Dep possibly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Engine here will just be a little closer now. Oop. Advances engines here. Uh, we're an inch. Come on, I you're not think. Very, very fast. Mm, I don't know. No. The ring up to there. I don't uh, think are you within three inches of the center? No. No, you're just out, dude. Come on. But you know what? We've hit this building so much. I'm just gonna shuffle it over there, because I just have this funny feeling that it was probably closer, or maybe it wasn't. But I've picked up this building and shook everything out. So. <laughs> We're not going to leave it to that half an inch. So you are there, okay? That's okay I think that's sure. important. No, no, no. I, yeah. I, because we've sh we've moved it around so much that for you to lose because of that rolling a one instead of a two, I don't think that feels right. And actually, none of that really mattered because you can just move him up, and as soon as he gets to right here, okay, does he actually fit? Well, you can because he walks over to oh, yeah. and stuff. Um, so. And right there, he's within three. Inches. The objective is right in there, so he's within three inches. And then the other Dune Crawler is going to move back this way, getting him within 24 inches. Of the jackals, yeah. right? And the dominus. How close do you have to be to re? Oh no, you don't have to worry Six about inches. it. No, they already re-roll ones from the canticles. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So he doesn't care. He doesn't have to heal anybody. So big whoop. Shooting phase, rangers into the acolytes. You are rapid fire range now. Yeah. Yeah. For um, your for your arc rifles. Actually, actually, I might be with the with the gunner rifles too. So the your rapid fire range of everything. Galvanic rifles first, hitting on fours. Rolling ones. Rolling the ones. That was already a hit. Four. Threes to wound. Threes, sixes are good. You do Five not ignore three. cover. Nope. So four up save. Yeah. No AP, right? No. One dies, but I got the acolyte icon word nearby. Can I roll a six? Indeed. No. Ooh. Keeping my leader alive. Arc rifles. Yeah, then arc rifles. Um, four is to hit. Fours again. We roll ones. Roll that one, one. So twos to wound. Twos, because strength six. So just so that's just AP. one minus one. Minus one, so five. Yeah. Oh, saved. Dune Crawler. What's yeah. he going to target? We got this Jackal Alpha in there. Right. 
gonna be minus two to shoot the only him. Other thing, yeah, it's minus two to shoot him. So we'd hit on fives just. You just wholly ignore his armor with the neutron laser. One hit and wound with the neutron laser will kill him. Right. Because it does three wounds, he has no way to ignore I them. I will do everything into him. <laughs> just to be sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't blame you at this point. D3 shots. Yeah. Neutron laser. Two okay. shots. Okay. Hitting on Five. fives. Because of your extra. Ah! Reroll the one. Oh no! Uh, no! Oh! Oh! It's so close. Heavy stubbers hitting on fives as well. <laughs> no. One hit so far. Reroll the one. Two hits. That's two hits. Ah, uh, he's toughness four, so four is to wound. So you got one wound. Okay. He is in cover. Counts as soft. So four up save. Oh! Well, the I mean, mighty dew crawler. It would have killed him anyway, I guess. But uh, yeah. Dominus will fire everything into those two neophytes. Serpent of Sir for serpent of first. Three's to hit. Yep. Because that one's not heavy, right? No. Uh, Strength. Five, so on a three. three. Uh, uh, it's cocked. Roll it again. Roll it again. Roll it again. Uh, that's AP? A, uh, one, ignore cover, though. So six up. Yeah. Six up. I can ward. Oh, one dies. One guy left. He won't run, though, just so you know. Yeah. Two guys, leadership eight. No. And then you have D3 shots with the yeah. other one. Eradication ray. Uh, that's two, two shots. shots. Now you've moved with him? I moved with so him. So you're going to be so on four. fours. Hit, miss. Strength? Six, so I want to Twos. Two. Okay, AP? Minus two. Ignoring cover? No. No ignoring cover. So a six up and then a six up. No, right. a four up. Oh, minus two. Yeah, yeah minus six two. Up. Six up. Six up, six up. Surely I can make okay. one of these. You'll make it up for me. I all these I missed, right? Ah, you got them. All right, the middle one is yours. Trans something or other. Trans arc uranic arquebuses. Into the jackals. All right. Let's Hitting see on fives. Hitting on fives just, though. Ooh, one hits. One hit. Okay. Strength. Four? Seven. No, strength seven. <laughs> what am I saying? Three is to wound. Okay, that's... Minus? Yeah. Uh, minus two. Ignoring, ignoring cover. cover? Yeah. So I get my six up in, Volna. I remember yeah, I have do. that this time. Okay, kills one. It's D3 damage, but one of them was already down a wound. Yeah. Neutron laser will fire at them, hopefully killing yeah. at least one or two three more. Shot. Three okay, shots! Three shots! It's going to be fives to hit them, though. Five, minus yeah. one and minus one. Just Obscured five. in their own... Out. Oh, five. we got two hits! Reroll really the one! Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, oh, well, if you killed okay. him, go, he had to root wound them. Yeah, yeah. Choose to wound. Choose to wound. Ah! Okay, they're both okay. in there. Minus but, four. Yeah, six up in bones. you six up, yeah. Ah! Okay, you killed two of them. Yeah. I'm going to keep the leader, because you just killed three guys. He's leadership eight. If I roll a six, he's gone. Well, hmm. any charges? I don't think so, right? We can't. Well, you could charge, like, you, is. there is range for these charges, but the right, question but is, do you want to? Yeah, you want him on the objective. Reach him, I, he, he has to stay there. So they're technically in charge range. He's technically in charge range, but you don't want him to leave the objective. Right. Because right now you what control they it. Do? What do they do if they charge? Well, they get to roll dangerous terrain, and yeah, then they hopefully they have enough damage to hurt him. Uh, what, five ones on him? Four. Four. Yeah, but they're not going to do that. I mean, they, 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 they're not going to do four wounds on him, I don't think. Because it's just, it's, it's an art mall in there. But <laughs> like, you just, could. You could. It's it's, it's could. six attacks, and it's seven attacks. No, six attacks in there. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just fours. Okay. Fours base. Well, you decide. Charge or no charge? I mean, there's, you know what? There's no real point not charging, I guess. So well, there, there is the dangerous terrain for charging. There is. But that's the, that's you know. Losing one or two guys, I'm not gonna care. Okay, do your do your roll. You're gonna have to roll pretty high, probably nine or ten. There's a four. Oh, that's a ten. That's I think 10. you're in. Move them first, then we'll roll the dangerous terrain. They're within nine inches, so just plop them forward. So that also allows them to get forward to come after the next guy. Yeah. If they're lucky enough to get there. You roll five dice, each one is a mortal wound, which is basically a dead guy. Yeah. See a couple ones. No, uh, come on, you've done it so many times. Yeah. Well, they can fight now. They're all in. Yeah. Start with the mall. Yeah, alpha first. Um, I, I kept the squad within six inches of the artifact. Um, they are Skitari, so they get your reroll hit. So four is to hit? Four is to hit reroll. With yeah. the mall. With the mall now. Go. It's an arc mall. Okay, both hit. Strength? Strength five. So two's to wound, because I'm toughness two where I am. Right. What's the AP? Minus oh. one. So I get my six up save. And six, how much damage? One. Six up. Just more. Nope. Okay. So one wound, he's down to three. And then You could kill him, attacks. you could kill him. It could, but everything has to go through. Four is to hit. So four is. Rerolling everything. Right. 
Okay, so I'm no, not three. gonna kill him. No, you could. He's got three wounds oh, left. Oh, right. He, he, You're gonna wound him on threes. He four. Threes to wound. Okay, let's see. And if he's failed, then he's not gonna they die. Were Vanguard, it no. would be easy. Okay. Yeah. Five up safe. Okay. Oh, I made that too. Well, I will fight back. Hit you back with my rending claws. Threes to hit. Ooh, Ooh. your toughness too as well. Yeah. So twos to wound, rending. Well, we got three wounds, minus one AP. Okay. So you got a five up save. Just fives. So Ooh, two one. die. Two die. Yeah, just pull. Yeah, might as well. What's your leadership? Seven. So one more could run. Could run. Why don't you roll first? On a six, one more will run. No. Nope. Over here on a six, he'll run! <laughs> ah! Okay, ooh, that was actually a huge part right there. So under your turn, you got me off of that objective and took it. You didn't get me off of this objective, but you took it. Now I'm still there if I killed the engineer, engine seer, I could stop you from taking it. Yeah. So that's all I can really do there. And you didn't get me off the other objective, which means I'll get that point. So going into my turn six, so the score is 12 to 10 right now, I get one, two points. So the score is now 14 to 10. See, this is where you're in trouble. This is why it was good for you to charge him. Because if you had managed to kill him, I just fell back and contested that objective. My Jackal Alpha will come to here. Um, this guy's gonna go as far back as possible and stay within three inches. And this hybrid's just gonna skitter a little more over here, stay within three inches. So I'm gonna designate this guy as my target. Okay. So I get plus one to hit him. Yep. I hit him. You do. Your toughness three out there. Yeah. So threes to wound. Oh, we did the mortal wound. Uh, it's minus two. Okay, so he's on a five up actually, because three up safe, not really. Oh. Uh, uh, right. Okay. He yeah. takes one mortal wound. Yeah. Let's back up for a second. I just realized just this move right here wins me the game, because the score is fourteen to ten. Yeah. Cause... If we go to turn seven, you're con you're at best controlling two three objectives. Mm -hmm which means it'll be 14 to 13. Right. And I could have nothing left on the table. Yeah. That's to be 14 to 13. If you had kept that middle objective, yeah. you would've got two more. The only other choice I, I would've had is like to, to run with the five guys I had here. Because they could couple, still shoot, just couple, not as much. I, yeah, I could've shot with them, but the problem is if I hadn't killed those guys, they, that wouldn't have mattered, right? Well, if you have more guys than me. I had more guys, I guess, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to maximize damage. I don't know. Well, it, it wasn't a horrible idea to try to take him out. Yeah, I don't know. Hindsight, though, it, it, and that doesn't even mean that you would have still had a chance to win the game because then you didn't kill my Jackal Alpha, right. which means he's there. Now, mind you, you're still contesting taking that objective, but he's got a slight chance to kill the Engine Seer, but we don't even have to try now. Good oh. game. Good yeah. game. Holy cow. Least, Holy cow. At least it was a close game, right? Yo, jeez. You, like... <laughs> Destroyed me early on. I'm like, oh boy, I'm dead. Right. But then I just managed to hold on. You whipped yeah, you, just you, enough. You I rolled. You retaliated by turn three or something. Yeah, you yeah. killed all my rock grinders. But I have one left that came back and that saved was, the day. Yeah. And then there we were. Maybe I went too much into killing you instead of. And grabbing objectives. Around. I mean, I kind of did, but you just. You failed a couple of advanced rolls too that we I got did. into objectives. I did. But I mean, you rolled. You didn't roll. No. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you didn't. No. So, uh, what did we I, see? I, like I, three I, sixes I, out of like <laughs> sixty? So I'm not in the position to complain about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is, right? Okay, well let's do our post game stuff as we go into the other phase of the game. So we're now in the strategy phase. First thing we do is determine initiative. It's whoever has most glory. I won a battle, so I got three points. You lost a battle and got one. So I have initiative. The next thing we do is earn campaign points. So this is before, um, where do we grab? Oh, we seize territory after all this. <laughs> so we're gonna earn campaign points now. So we each add up our resource value, the upper number in each location, and that's our campaign points. Zero. So when we look at yours, zero, one, still one, two, still two, three. Three campaign points for you. I got two, three, four, Five, six. So three to or seven. six. Oh, seven. Let me see that one down there. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I didn't cheat. <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven to three. So we mark our numbers. Um, uh, Constantine, the Admac is red. Change the culture green here. So I've got zero plus seven. You might wonder why it's zero plus. We got like these 30 plus, 60 plus. If you ever get all the way up to 30, then you can go cycle back down and just put the 30 plus. You get all the way up there and then you become 60 plus. 
So that's why it's a zero plus seven. So I'm at seven to three. We then check the strategic goal of the campaign, which we know we haven't gotten yet, because this is the one where we have to group together um, locations. Right. So, and then we get a point for every three grouped together. We then earn strategy points. That is the bottom number. So for me, the red, I got one, two, three, four, still four, five, six, seven. Wait, you're red. <laughs> I'm getting my colors. I'm like, wait, seven? I didn't have a seven. Seven for admech. For me, I've got zero, one, two, three, four. So seven to four. So you can see that, that Constantine was able to get more strategy points. He grabbed ones that were more strategically useful, and I grabbed ones that were more worth points. So seven to, I already forgot, one, two, four. three, four. Seven to four, seven to four. We then take a look at all the strategic resources. Each of them is worth a certain number of strategic points. In initiative order, which means I go first, I can buy one, and then Constantine could buy one. Then I can buy one back and forth until both of us pass, because you can save strategy points, mm -hmm. or until we've each had three, because you can't, you can't purchase any more than three. So I get to purchase one first. I'm going to choose Inspired Leadership for three. Uh, so that's three out of my four. Mm -hmm. And my basically in our next game, I'll have an extra warlord trait in my warlord, but from the Cities of Death warlord traits. Right. Probably choose the first one, which gives me three extra command points. Yeah. And you're going to buy Control Through Subversion, which allows you to take over one of my locations, yeah. even though you didn't beat me. Right. So that's three. So you've got yeah. four left. Four. I'm going to use my last one to install Comms Uggers. So when we get to the Seize Territory step, I can put a comms marker on my on a location and it's worth one more strategy value for the rest of the campaign actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're gonna buy strategic insights to yeah. immediately get D three campaign points. Right. Just to close the distance between us a tiny little bit. Maybe that that could come up later. I mean I don't know. I don't know, it could. So uh, two. two not bad. Yeah. So that brings you up to five. So now the score is seven to five. And then you hold on to the extra one? Yeah. So uh, yeah. I'll, so I'll there's somewhere that it doesn't really have any place to mark that. Constantine had a good idea. Let's just stick a skull on the other side to represent leftover strategy points. Yeah. So you can see that we put them in here, which is really handy, of the things that we get to do. With my install comms, I can upgrade one of the locations. Obviously, I'm going to upgrade one that you can't take over because you don't have any adjacent. Yeah. So this is worth now 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a very important place. Yeah. Yeah. Now we are in seize territory mode. Yeah. Starting with the player with initiative, myself, I seize a territory, and then Constantine will, and then we go reverse initiative and do it again. Right. And both of us can take over an adjacent enemy as well, yeah. because I beat Constantine, but he also took the card that allows him. So I'm going to go first, and I'm going to take the Aegis City generator. You're going to take the other special one, Promethium Reactor Complex? Yeah. I have a hard choice. I'm adjacent to this one, mm -hmm. so I could take it. Right. Or I could take one from you. But now we're going in reverse order. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So you have the you have the actual that choice. Right. You could take this one or any other one. Because we also we have our regroup and consolidate where we're trying to group them all together, right? Yeah. And right now I've got a cluster of four, and you've only got a cluster of two. You think I'm just I think I'm just gonna take this one. Here. So you're gonna take the manufacturing zone mu beta from me? Yeah. And I will not take one of yours. Instead I will take Sniper's Alley. Because what that does, I now have six, so that'll get me two extra points. Now, like it, this one's worth more than that one, but you did cost me one one, and then you yeah. gain one one, so it's almost the same net there. Except now this is so I've got two of the special locations, and you have one. If we we won't be able to fight over these special locations in our next game because neither of us took the assault stronghold strategic resource. Yeah. Hopefully we'll at least get to do that once or twice. Yeah. There are special missions and they actually say you have to set up the terrain in a certain way and if you can't, then don't have that card on your map because <laughs> you're not allowed to do it. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I, I look forward to playing at least one of those in one of these locations. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And they have a different setup for each of the six right. special locations. I so the current status of the campaign, Gene Center Cult is in the lead. Wait, I still, oh yeah, we did that. Yeah. We did that, yeah, we did that. Yeah. Seven to five, next after our next game, then we'll be able to add the extra points from everything we just took. And, um, yeah, you've, yeah, you got the D3 campaign points, so you've already, we've already done this. So you didn't end up taking one of mine. Oh, yes, I did. I took this one. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. Shh, what am I thinking? I'm already, I'm tired. It's the end of the day. <laughs> and I've, next time I'll have an extra Warlord trait, and I'll gain extra strategy points on this one. So that is the first round of our Gene Steeler Cult versus Admech Urban Conquest campaign. So far, so good, eh? Yeah. Good first is, game? This, yeah, it's, it's, uh, 
it, it's been an it's been an exciting year. Yeah, you beat the crap out of me, but I held the objectives long enough. You did. That's you really did. it's really what it came down to. <laughs> so we'll have the next game in the mini wargaming vault at the link below. Go check it out. There'll be more Genes to the Cult versus Admech, but with different armies this right. time. Yeah. As we fight over the war zones in the cities of death. Thanks for watching. Happy wargaming.